Barbara Bruin won't be in this chair much longer. The embattled Animal Welfare Department director ran into controversy over the last few months after three separate reports uncovered the department had let dangerous dogs be adopted into homes. Director Bruin and myself had been having ongoing conversations, really looking at the best options for the benefit of the department. This week, the city announced Bruin was bumped from the top. She'll stay on as an advisor, a new position for the department, making, according to Perry, much less than before. Will she be taking a pay cut for this role? She will, and that's yet to be determined. Uh, it'll be commensurate with, you know, responsibilities. The city also announced it hired a new deputy director, another brand new position. That man, Paul Castor, is expected to make at least $75,000. But we wanted to know two new high ranking jobs in animal welfare? How is the city going to pay for both Bruin and Castor? I'm told the money for both of these new positions is coming from inside the animal welfare budget. And Perry says there's enough money. But we've also learned those decisions only need the approval of one person, Rob Perry, the chief administrative officer. A city spokesperson says there are only a very small number of specifically identified positions that require city council involvement. And these two new spots at animal welfare don't fall into that category. In Albuquerque, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Vandals are costing a high school a lot of money after they broke windows and AC units. You can see the busted windows.